Hello, it's Reviews Day Tuesday and it's time for a new episode of Discworld Discourses. Today I am reviewing Soul Music, which is the 16th book in the Discworld series by Terry Patchett, first published in 1994. In this book we meet Imp E. Selin, a young harpist who moves to Ankh-Morpork to seek his fortune as a musician. There he forms a band with dwarf Glod Glodson and troll Lias Bluestone. Meanwhile, Death, upset over the death of his adopted daughter Isabel and her husband Mort, takes a holiday and his granddaughter, Susan, inherits the family business. After Imp, who comes to be known as Buddy, acquires a magical guitar, Susan becomes aware of him when he is supposed to die in a riot, but is instead taken over by the music, and chaos ensues. I often think of this book as very similar to moving pictures, in that it's about stardom and people being overtaken by a mysterious magical new force, and also chock full of references. Both of these books have tons of references in them. Soul music has has references to bands, to songs, to films, to a whole bunch of other things. It's a really fun experience reading this book if you like pop culture references. I love the band, the band with Roxin. I love that we have had a couple of books about race relations and now we have a book where the central trio of friends are a human, a dwarf and a troll. I really liked The Wizards of Unseen University in this book. I've been more of a fan of The Wizards in this reread than I was in my first read of the Discworld series. It's really fun how many of them get carried away by the music and how also we get to see again the Arch-Chancellor's peculiar brand of competence. Soul Music is part of the Death series of books, even though he isn't in it that much, but his parts are really fun. I am a big fan of when Death is bemused or confused by how people live and how they do things. This is also the book in which Susan is introduced to us. She's one of my favourite Discworld characters. She's a very interesting character. I love how she sees the world and how she treats people, and I love how the book subtly handles the grief that Susan and Death are feeling. So yeah, basically I've just listed a whole bunch of things that I loved about soul music. I would say that I didn't enjoy this book as much the second time reading it as I did the first. It may be one of those Discord books that has a bit more of a novelty factor the first time you read it. It also felt a bit more like something that I'd seen before the second time reading it, I think because now I'm reading the books in exact order and also quite quickly. We have seen Death running away from his responsibilities before, and we've also seen something from the round world coming to the disc world and taking over and making people act differently before. You know, last time it was movies, this time it's music. But all of the great things that I mentioned earlier about this book still stand. You know, it's still a very fun read with very interesting characters, and the humour and the writing is excellent, especially if you like pop culture references. When I read this book the first time round, it was one of my favourites across the series, especially of the early books, and it has gone down the list a bit, but I still think it's a great book. I will give Soul Music 4.1 out of 5. So, some facts about this book. Normally I would list the round world references, but there are so many in this book that I think it would require an entire other video to list them all. We have references to bands including U2, The Who, Led Zeppelin, They Might Be Giants, Def Leppard, Madness, The Grateful Dead, to songs including American Pie, Johnny Be Good, Blue Suede Shoes, Good Golly Miss Molly, to films including Blues Brothers and Rebel Without a Cause, and to a lot of other things. My favourite is how Glod redecorates all the hotel rooms that the band stays in before they leave. An animated adaptation was on Channel 4 in 1996, and a soundtrack to that was released. And as with many of the books, there have also been a couple of stage adaptations. If you liked soul music, what should you read next? As I said, it has many similarities with making pictures, so if you haven't read that yet, then that's worth a go. Or stay with the Death series and go to Hogfather, which is also another Susan book. If you didn't like soul music, then I would say to just stick with the Discord reading order and read into Interesting Times next, which is a Rincewind book. I will be reviewing Interesting Times on the 17th of September, and I will, as usual, put a link to the full list of Discworld books and when I'm planning on reviewing them in the description below. That's it for today. I would really love to know what you think about Soul Music if you have read it, and what is your favourite reference in the book. Let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to see my latest video or some more Discord discourses, then you can do so below me here, and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you should wish to, beside me here. And if you fancy checking out my Patreon page, then the link to that will also be in the description below. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later on in the week.